We are using shell method to find the volume of the solid generated by revolving the region R bounded by the curves y equals cube root of x, y equals 0, and x equals 1. So the first thing we want to do is the sketch the curves. Okay, so x axis, sorry, y axis, x axis, which is in fact y equals 0. So y equals 0. And cube root of x, this will be something similar to this cube root of x. Uh, you can check in your graphing calculator, uh, just graph uh, x raised to x raised to one third okay and graph so you'll have a graph similar to this okay and x equals one so one so x equals one is a vertical line passing through one so the reason we are interested in is this x equals one y equals zero so x axis is always y equals zero and q root of x and we want to revolve this region about y axis so this is y axis and we want to revolve about this okay when we are using shell method the sample rectangle should be parallel to the axis so parallel to y axis so we'll be taking let me erase this part okay not that much just the inside part so we want to take uh, rectangles of we're going to take rectangles small rectangle let's say sample rectangle here let me use different color which is parallel to this y-axis because we are revolving about y-axis okay in dix or washer method we have to take perpendicular to y-axis if we are revolving about y-axis we had to take perpendicular but in shell method we have to take parallel of a small width that small width on x axis so this will be delta x that suggests the volume formula the volume formula will be in terms of x dx and we always the volume is always area and uh, this look at this sample rectangle this can be taken anywhere from 0 to 1 anywhere 0 to 1 so this will be 0 to 1 in our case okay when we revolve this small rectangle about y axis then we are gonna get the shell okay we are gonna get this shell just the outer part of a cylinder and we have is the x axis origin y axis and what are the coordinates of this point so this up to there is one i mean uh, this is one and y equals q root of x this one and this is the sample rectangle so we need to take the coordinates let's say this is x comma y okay any x any y and y is given by cube root of x so x cube root of x so this is in fact x cube root of x okay now we want to find the area of surface surface area that's here surface area and we want to integrate from 0 to 1 so 0 to 1 because the sample rectangle could be taken anywhere from 0 to 1 and we know the uh, surface area surface area is given by 2 pi radius height 2 pi r h so radius is this which is x and this is height height is cube root of x so 2 pi x cube root of x let's simplify 2 pi x times cube root of x uh, cube root of x means x raised to one third here is x so x one plus one third four thirds now this is the area we're going to plug in here and integrate from zero to one to find the volume thus the volume we are looking for is zero to one 
area is 2 pi x raised to 4 thirds dx and we can always pull constant outside now find the antiderivative of x n x 4 thirds using power rule x 4 thirds plus 1 7 thirds divided by 7 thirds and we want to evaluate from 0 to 1 okay uh, plug in 1 for x and plug in 0 for x so 0 everything becomes 0 2 pi 7 thirds we can pull outside 7 thirds becomes 3 seventh so 3 goes top 3 times to 6 seventh pi outside and 1 raised to 7 thirds 1 raised to positive number is always 1 so times 1 times ha times 1 does not change anything so 6 seventh pi cubic units is the volume of this solid of revolution.